Hi, uh, I'm Guido van den Bos. I'm the uh, business development director for Marine Construction, a business unit within RIC, and also the team lead for the deep sea mineral extraction within Ellen. I'm based in Schiedam, the Netherlands. Yeah, so deep sea mineral extraction is, a, is an upcoming industry. Uh, it's been already there for the last, since the 80s as well. And it, it's kind of split in three major uh, areas of uh, potential. One is the polymetallic nodules. One is the seabed massive sulfides, that's also referred as the old smokers. And the other part is the, the polymetallic crust, uh, which are all are on, on the seabed located uh, uh, resources. Currently, the, there is an intensively growth, as we all know, in the energy transition and renewable space. So there's a growth in, in, in turbine and wind installation side. There's a growth in battery demand. There's a growth in electric vehicles. There's a growth in solar. And all these uh, markets will need uh, further growth in, uh, in order to supply the elements and metals required to, to build these uh, uh, things. Also, the, the world population, we're already going towards 8 billion people and we're even going to 9 billion people. And all these persons will, will, will demand a, a good standard of living. And that will also increase the, 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 the very supply demand on, on these critical elements. And we're talking about elements like copper, like manganese, like nickel, and like cobalt. And these are all key elements and critical elements to, to, to provide that growth. So currently, uh, there's various global uh, efforts happening right now. Uh, like recently in Norway, they're, they're moving into the, the economic exclusive zone. So there, it's Norway owned waters in that sense. There's also areas like Cook Islands is exactly the same, where they also did the find of earlier exploration uh, efforts in their eco economic exclusion zone. But also India, Japan, and even also Brazil are, are looking in those areas. On top of that, there's also international seabed authorities where they're looking at, for instance, the Indian Ocean and also the Atlantic Ridge, but also in the Clarion Clipper Zone, which is right in the middle of the uh, Pacific Ocean, where they're especially now focusing on the polymetallic module. So as, as most of probably offshore people know, the NOV is a, definitely a, a serious partner and very install base. NV has been always around from the Gusto MSC side on the vessel design. We've been very uh, install base on uh, the equipment top side, on, on rigs, and on semis and, and drill ships. And also from our riser base on the crash control group, we have a, a various experiment, experience in, in these offshore and, and rough environments. Uh, challenging, but also we, we're familiar with taking on big projects. We're very familiar and comfortable of have the integrational part of equipment. Just single equipment is good, but letting these equipment work together. And where the key part is, is also where the integration of purely equipment and vessel dynamics is, is playing a key role in developing uh, uh, this part. And you see that that knowledge we can take from, from the upstream which is already developed and mature and commercial, we can uh, start moving that in, into this new upcoming market. So capabilities is very wide and that's made the dynamic perfect. Like, like I earlier mentioned on the Gusta MSC side is where we have the vessel dynamics, the floating dynamics. That could be either a vessel side or a, a semi side, but also we're looking at new build or conversion. So that's one part. The other part is the top side. So the, the rig top side where we have how to handle uh, large pieces of riser based. Uh, so looking at the top side and cranes and, uh, and, and those parts, and let that make work together. Other than that, you still have to lift equipment from, from the seabed. So we're looking currently at two vertical transport systems like a, a closed loop riser system and the other container buys container-based riser lift system, or sorry, uh, uh, container-based lift system. That part, 
but also, for instance, our unique uh, fiber rope solutions together with uh, a launch and recovering system, just kind of an A-frame system. But also offloading capabilities through our family of APL. We're also looking at dewatering systems, but also very uh, items we're already very familiar with, like uh, the, the power blades, how to capture the kinetic energy, how to reduce uh, the emissions, but also automation efficiencies, again, to, to reduce our carbon footprint. And on top of that, also our Max platform, which is a, almost a standard these days in upstream, how to move big data from, from floating to shore. Again, we can use leverage those technologies for make this upcoming industry a successful and environment friendly uh, industry.